but also touches on our national morals, values, and our culture as a people. Let me just say from the onset, Honorable Speaker, I am a Presbyterian because I had uh, the member for Funula say he's Catholic. I am member number 39 in the Kambura district of the Pres Presbyterian Church of East Africa, the Reverend Musagetao Church. And Honorable Speaker, those who advance those things, I don't even have to mention the Honorable Speaker, have their own countries and they are, have their own cultures. And we respect their cultures and they must equally respect our cultures as African and as Kenyans. And nobody should imagine that you can force down the throats of Kenyans alien cultures that are alien to our nationality and our being African, Honorable Speaker. The issues, Honorable Speaker, that the Supreme Court was addressing itself to, and I really want to avoid going for the Supreme Court in any manner because they have a duty and an obligation under the law to interpret the Constitution in the best way they think uh, it, it should be interpreted. And I think even in the Supreme Court, opinion was varied. It's only that the majority decision had their say, but the minority also had uh, the, the majority had their way, but the minority also in the Supreme Court had their say. And I want to identify myself with the opinion and the views of the minority in the Supreme Court, Honorable Speaker. That we shall not allow and we must never allow our country to take up alien ideas, alien cultures, because we are a country that tends to copy a number of few things, good things, few from those other cultures. Honorable Speaker, our laws are quite clear. Our penal code still has outlawed issues to do with homosexuality. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, it was absurd that a good number in the Supreme Court did find it fit to allow a habit or uh, something that has, is already outlawed under our laws that you could now allow people to associate. What happens tomorrow, Honorable Speaker, if all the pickpockets in our streets decide now that they have rights as pickpockets and they want to form the association of Nairobi street pocket <laughs> thieves or even robbers, bank robbers, tomorrow robbers may decide that we have certain rights under the constitution, the right to association. But Honorable Speaker, the Constitution also says that your rights are limited. Majority Leader, would that be the Bank Robbers Association of Kenya region? <laughs> it could be the Bank Robbers Association of, <laughs> of, of Kenya. <laughs> or, or rapists. Tomorrow, you may find rapists saying that uh, we are the Association of Rapists of Kenya. And we have the right to do whatever we want to do with whoever we want to do it, Honorable Speaker. And they could argue that out in a court of law and say they are guaranteed of their right to association and freedom of association, Honorable Speaker. But we must also know that our constitution also limits everybody's rights. And especially where you are right also in a way of a step to interfere with my rights. And we have also to enjoy our religious rights, our rights to worship our rights to our own cultures. We must protect our rights. And I want to say, Honorable Speaker, as leader of majority in this house, for the time the Almighty God grants me the opportunity to serve this country as leader of majority, I will not allow, and I said elsewhere, I will mobilize this house and any other house in this republic to ensure that we protect the laws that have outlawed uh, homosexuality, lesbianism, and all, all those other things that are abominable under our culture and our religions, Honorable Speaker. And we must protect our culture, Honorable Speaker, and our being as a people. If there is anything I agree with uh, our good friend, President Yoweri Museveni. Give, give him one minute, he's the majority leader. I was saying, Honorable Speaker, if there is anything I support President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni on, 
is on the issue of LGBT. Honorable Speaker, I will not be go to the extreme in how you deal with them, but we must be forthright as a nation to protect our own cultures, our religion, and our beliefs, and we must not allow those countries from the West who believe in those things, let them believe in whatever they want to believe in, but they must not force us to believe in the things they believe in. They must also respect our culture, our religion, and the things we believe in, but not uh, uh, shove things down our throats, the things we don't believe in. And we want to raise up our children in an upright country, in an upright society, on a speaker, where our children will enjoy to grow the way we grew up, with morals, with good ethics, on a speaker, and in a country that we can all be proud to raise our kids in, Honorable Speaker. With that, I support the Honorable Mualio and this motion. Thank you. Thank you, Majority Leader. Honorable Faramalim.